Hi, welcome to the start of a new collective haul for the month of March. And this is just going to be me opening packages throughout the month as I get them. So here's the first box. Uh, this is from Right Stuff. So everything is kind of in these mystery packages. So just put it in my phone. Okay, so first we got the House of Five Please volumes two and three. And if you saw my reading month for February, I did read the first volume and I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was okay and I was willing to try two more volumes, so I picked these up. These are always really nice additions and I love Natsumayono's art, of course, so we all know that. But yeah, these additions are really nice. They have the flaps on them, so I'm happy to have them. And next we got... Tomo-chan is a girl volume 3. I've really been liking Tomo-chan as a girl, so I picked up the third volume. I've read 1 and 2 so far, so I'm excited to keep reading. And then I got A White Rose in Bloom. This is a girl's love story by the author of Classmates, Occupation of Beloved, Blanc, etc. And I really love their art. This is kind of the same kind of situation as Natsume Ono. Their art is very unique. It is not for everyone, but I really enjoy their style a lot. So I picked this up solely based on that fact. The premise seems pretty interesting. I think it's kind of like stone cold beauty girl that no one can get close to and then they're like stuck at the school for winter vacation or something and grow closer. I'm not sure how many volumes this is. I knew this was a thing for a while, but I thought it was- for some reason I thought it was just a one shot, but I guess not because it says volume one. So yeah, definitely excited to read this. It's a little thinner than I expected, but that's okay. Okay, and then I got the rest of Arca Under the Bridge. Omnibus 5 is a little damage which kind of sucks but also it is quite yellow and like a little dirty i don't know if, if that's just how the design is on the cover but i think it's dirty it's like <laughs> i mean i don't think this is a very popular series so i guess this has been sitting at the bottom of their bin but yeah you can feel it that is interesting this corner is also been anyways here's omnibus 6 which is also a little yellow i think my last red stuff box i also got some things that were yellow which was kind of odd i've never really experienced that with them but here is omnibus 7 and then the last volume it says volume 8 but it's actually volume 15 but it's in a single so that's why hi so we have another package for today this one is from cheapmanga.com I actually low-key forgot what I bought from here, but it looks like I got volumes 4 through 6 of Tomo-chan is a Girl, the characteristic remainder marks from cheapmanga.com. I already have volume 5, but this whole bundle was $15, so I got these for $5 each, so I'll just sell off my extra copy. I've been really liking this, I've read up to volume 3, and I'm just taking this one volume at a time, though, so I didn't like buy it all at once, but I'm happy that I waited and I was able to get a deal for these. But yeah, this is about a tomboy, and she likes her childhood friend, and he kind of treats her as like one of the guys, so she's trying to like get him to notice her as more than a friend. And it's really cute, really wholesome, and pretty funny. And then I also got My Solo Exchange Diary, Volume 1 and 2, and this is kind of a sequel to My Lesbian Experience with Loneliness, but not like a direct sequel, if I'm correct. And I wanted to read these all together, that's why I was waiting until I got these. And it looks like these came from another store, which I think that is kind of the point of the store. They sell kind of like overstock books from other places, is they have the remainder marks. Well, this one doesn't, but yeah. And then I think I just got this one to round out my free shipping, but my androgynous boyfriend. This one, I don't know, it seemed interesting. It's kind of a not traditional romance, but yeah, it seemed interesting. And I think there's a couple volumes of this out. I've seen it in other people's collections, so I figured I'd try it out. Let me see. The art looks cute. And then lastly, I got Classroom of the Elite, volume one, the light novel. So this is not my first light novel. I own some of the Dorara light novels, but... I've heard that this is like the best light novel, like nothing compares to this. Yeah, I was looking into watching the anime for this, but I saw like the reviews said read the light novel instead. So you know what? I picked it up. I think this was like $5. So I figured I'd give it a try. This is volume one. And I don't know when the last time I read like a textbook like this was, but it looks like it has some art pages, which is kind of cool. But from what I know, this is kind of about like a school that has a really strict ranking system type thing and the protagonist kind of pretends to be mediocre but he's actually really smart so something like that so yeah i'm really happy with my purchases if you want to know the total i think all of these were like five dollars so this is like 40 bucks hi it looks like our trusty friend amazon has a new packaging style let's see how it goes kind of reminds me of book depository type so what we got is volumes one and two of banana fish finally this was one of the series that i did want to collect in 2021 but it is very not out of print but like just out of stock all the time and one and two finally came back in stock 
on Amazon and they actually look like they're in pretty good condition so I'm really happy with this. Volume 2 is a little off-center on the spine, but that's okay. And I've seen a bit of the anime for this, but it is about basically a drug called Banana Fish, and it is a lot about, like, gang politics, drug politics, um, trigger warning. From what I remember, there is some, like, sex trafficking, child prostitution type stuff, murder, violence. Not what you would expect from a sh This is technically a shoujo manga. But yeah, I'm really excited to read this. I believe there's, like, 19 volumes, so I'll be trying to pick them up when I can. But I kind of want to wait to read this until I have a bit more because I know I'm going to want to read more after I finish volume 2 and I'm not going to be able to find them for a decent price. So yeah, I'm really excited about this, really happy with this. Amazon, you've been on my good list lately. I haven't gotten anything messed up from them in a while, but we'll see. bookstore and Barnes and Noble so we'll start with what I got at the used bookstore. So what I picked up was Aishul 21 volume 1. I love sports manga. I've heard this one is pretty good. I'm currently reading Dr. Stone which is by the same author not artist but yeah they had this. It's a little beat up. It's definitely yellow but it was a couple bucks so you know I figured I'd give it a try. And then also I picked up this The Heroic Legend of Arslan, Arslan, if I'm pronouncing that right. And I solely picked this up because I'm reading Silver Spoon right now as well by the same artist. And this is something I do not have in my collection any of. It's, I think I believe this is like a political fantasy type thing. And they had like eight volumes, but I decided just to get the first three. They're a couple bucks each. These are all in pretty good condition, a little yellowing, and this sticky stuff that I can take off. But yeah, I'm excited to read these and see. I'll probably go back and pick up the rest that they had if they're still there after I read these and I like them. And if not, I'll just sell them and it's okay. And then at Barnes & Noble, I got kind of a hefty stack. So let me start first with some things I was just continuing. So Tomo-chan is a girl, volume seven. I actually read this last night. I want volume eight so bad, but they only had volume seven. So yeah, I'm almost done with this. I still like it. I'm still continuing it. I'll save my thoughts more for when I do a full review of this. And then next I got a volume 11 of Beastars. Excited to continue this. I'm really liking Beastars and I'm glad that the release schedule is pretty con consistent. So it's not like I'm waiting months and months for the next volume. Perfect World volume two. I read volume one the other day and it was all right. I liked it. So I was interested in continuing. So I picked up volume two. They had three and four, but I've noticed that sometimes at Barnes & Noble, even if they do have the books, sometimes they're in terrible condition. Like the spine will be crunched up or like a little part will be chipped off. So I tend to not buy things unless I'm like desperate if they're in that condition. So yeah, plus like it's way cheaper to buy stuff online, but like it's fun to get stuff in person and I don't live near a bookstore. It took me about an hour to get to this Barnes & Noble. So whenever I am there, I try, I kind of go a little crazy. And then I got volume 5 of Given. I have not started Given. I know I'm gonna like it. I had been meaning to start it before the movie came out, but then the movie came out like during my exam time. And so I have not had a chance to read it, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. And I have not watched the movie yet, but I've watched the anime. And I think there's only six volumes out so far and they're about to catch up with it. I think the releases for this are really slow, but I'm excited to read this eventually. I just know I'm gonna be sad, so I've also been putting it off for that reason. Okay, and then next I got a couple things. I asked on my Instagram for some recommendations from y'all, and y'all came through, so I picked a couple. I couldn't get everything, obviously, and they didn't have everything either. I wanted to pick up Chainsaw Man and, like, Jujutsu Kaisen and, like, try to broaden my horizons. I know those are super popular series right now, and they're always sold out, so that's why it's really hard to get them. But I wanted to try it. I mean, the hype is there, so it must be good, even though it's not my normal genre of stuff I read. But what I did get was volume one of Blue Flag. They did have all of Blue Flag, but my caveat with this, I heard that the ending sucks. So I've been like really holding off on it, but everyone raves about this and says it's amazing. So the ending doesn't always make a series bad for me. So like if the ride is good enough, then I think it is a good trade-off. So I was just gonna read this on the Shonen Jump app like as it came out or when it was finished and read it all but the peer pressure made me do it. Um, This edition is really nice. I really like the sig size and it's a pretty hefty volume for the price. So yeah, I just got the first one and I heard there's some good like LGBT plus representation in this so that is good as well. Next I got this one called Sasaki and Miyano and this one I know nothing about. I think it's about like a popular guy likes the shy kid type trope 
very overused in any romance, but I don't know. This looks pretty cute, but it's by my... I have a new enemy, y'all. It's Yen Press. Why is their stuff so expensive? For no reason. Like, this was 13, but it is... I don't know. This this looks like it's 20 pages, but yeah. Lately, I've just, I've just been tired. Why are they serializing all my faves? Like, Yao Peta. I calculated it the other day. And if I buy all of Yao Peta, 70 volumes in Japanese, it'd be about $250. And when they catch up in English, total, it's gonna cost me like $850 retail. So, you know, it's discouraging, but I know this is a business. This is capitalism. They need to make their money. Damn, Yen Press. I mean, it's not like their editions are anything super special either. It's not like they have special flaps or, oh, well, they do have color pages, but like a lot of color pages or anything. It's just, they're doing too much sometimes. And lastly, I got this one, Whisper Me a Love Song. And this is a Yuri title, I believe, about kind of like a- she's in band, she sees her perform, falls in love, whatever. It kind of reminds me of Given, actually, but um, with girls, so we love that. I think there was three volumes available when I saw- when I went, but I just picked up volume one, and I'm excited to read it. I recently read A White Rose in Bloom, and I've been like kind of looking for some more Yuri, because that one is actually good. That is what I picked up today, a big haul from Barnes & Noble, and then some used books that I kind of picked up on a win there, a couple bucks, so yeah. Hi, hello. So this is kind of terrifying. I got this from Better World Books and it is an out of print book that I got for retail price and it is a library book so I knew I was taking the chance with what condition it's going to be in but this did not help packaging wise but you know what, we'll see. I'm trying to be super careful because like the book is right there. Okay, so what we got is volume four of Wandering Sun, and unfortunately, this is kind of in pretty bad condition, which kind of sucks because, like, I did order volume five from here and it was in perfect condition. It didn't even have this library marking. All it had was, like, a stamp inside, and it looks like this time all they have is a sticker inside, but the outside is a little worn for wear. But you know what? This is normally like $100, so I got it for, I think, $17, which is pretty good. And hopefully I can get the first three now, because the six, seven, eight are all in print still. I can easily find them, but a little disappointing, but I'm not going to return this or anything. I'm glad to have it. This is the worst damage that it has, but yeah, this is probably going to be the last clip of this month. I didn't buy a lot, so I'm sorry that this is a little shorter of a haul, but I'm just trying to get through reading a lot of my collection, which is one of my goals. I don't want to buy that much more stuff if I still have a lot to read. So yeah, thank you for watching and bye. Update. I think it'll be okay once I clean it up a bit more. I just need to clean the stickers off and then on the inside I was able to get most of it off. I can clean this. So yeah, I shouldn't complain. The only part that's un like repurposable is this. Why do some library books do this? That's like always a gamble. I can usually fix anything other than these stamps. Like, cause even if you like sandpaper it off, like how you sandpaper off yellowing, it doesn't come off. But yeah, I'm still happy to have this. I tried to bid on a lot of like one through six and it went up to like $400. So that is way out of my budget. But if you do have one through three and you're willing to sell them to me for like a little above retail or like double retail, please hit me up. So yeah, that, that's all for me now. So bye. Mm -hmm.